Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to podcast. Oh, this is crazy. Yo, hey, this is crazy. Ladies this is and not gentlemen. crazy. Where am I sitting? Where do you want? <laughs> let's go. Let's fucking go. Maddie's going. There's only one Shout thing we should be focused on right now, and it's how do we slide in Melinda Gates' DMs. She's single, and she's rich. See, He's everyone's right. making jokes about signing the bills. Bear obviously sees the flip Bear, side. Bear already fucked Bill. Can I did say you that? fuck Bill? Guys, how this did, is PG. I already told Bill. you this. No, you didn't mention that. I have no you problem. You said the things that we can't talk about are hookers and cocaine. I have, no, I have no problem if people do that. I don't care. Because I know how the society works. I Let me see your eyes. Do what? Yeah. Have sex? Yeah, yeah, I don't care. How many times care? have you had sex? I went sex to family life week? in eighth grade. When you were cooking macaroni and cheese in eighth grade, I was running high school girls in the dorms. What does that mean? You're a pimp? No, 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 no. I just we met, already like, have to bleed this I out. Just met, like, I already, no. I already no. been through the game, and yeah. it's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. I went one round with Danny Fuller. Can we show you more chest? Can we get a little more chest? I'm sweating. I'm overheating. I'm a high-performance vehicle. First of all, first of all, hold on. Hold on, let's just take a peek. Okay. Here. okay, first of all, everybody. Wait, why are we starting without giving respect and all due praise to the mighty sensei who let us use the ring as a podcasting arena like the gladiators, like my ancient ancestors in Rome? As you guys can see, I come from a big Roman descent. Look at my calves. Yeah. <laughs> Look I'm at a, that calf. That's like two big For those of you that don't do <laughs> leg day, take notes. <laughs> what is that? I'm doing a master class on how to build Hold a thigh. On. Hold on, dude. Let me show you some okay. real calves. Look at those pants. Yeah, you shot the REI calves. or what? Hold on. Look at that. Okay. Everyone's doing calf offs. Yeah. We're doing a this guy's calf. Guys got off. the boy sock We're white socks a, on. He's got. <laughs> and you got a ripped tee on holy vintage. So we got beard. Did you, how do you say that? Degenerio. I don't want to say it wrong because it could go slur really quick. I know. I thought he was a culture chef. Uh, Degidio. Degidio. It's beard Degidio. And no, what, what part of Italy are you from? He's from most, the boot. Pe most people would say any part of Italy is Italy. Yeah. I like to be a little bit more distinct, precise, and specific. I'm half Sicilian, half Napoleon. Means I invented the pastry the, game, the pastry. but I also know how to get down with, you know, the anchovies and the people down low in Sicily. There we go. Okay, let me do a quick rundown. We just went right into bear. This is a lot. Let me just go a rundown no, on bear. Let me Okay. <laughs> so here's, here's. I didn't mean to do that, but I no, can't. No, I met no, bear no. in Hawaii. She is a smoking. At okay. Ruka Aloha. That's where I met Bear. All praise That's the, the mighty Sensei Tenori. Well, I heard of I heard I heard of him a few times. No, we've seen you and we've known about you in LA. You are a staple we've... in the district and the community <laughs> okay. of the kids that wear he LA upholds. hats. Noted. A staple. Noted. The vandalism. Fine. We Fine. love your tight faces and the fonts, the graffiti like looking ones. I don't like we, where this is going. Whatever it is. Let me do my bear breakdown. Go I ahead. met Bear in Hawaii. Within eight minutes of knowing him, we were driving down the highway and he was literally no bullshit, no hyperbole. Teen Wolf surfing on top of a suburban. Scree everyone in the car screaming. That was the, that was the tone for that entire trip. Ruka Aloha. Hashtag. Ruka Aloha. Evan Evan get mocked some, the spider get some. cock. We oh, won. Evan him. mocked the spider cock was there. Yep. He had just signed a big deal. Yeah. Huge he only deal. Signs big deals. Yeah. Huge deal with Ruka. He won't come on the pod. Think, he's uh, afraid. He's what? afraid. To come His on manager the pod. is afraid. Probably. Yeah. Well, uh, he's yeah, afraid be as a, a person. You, you seem to go off script, so I would be afraid I don't to go do this. Off script. This We're was actually this is all script. We're this not going actually. This is literally scripted, Bear. This is I went scripted. direct with him, voice memos of what we could and couldn't say. Yeah. And he already had a laundry list of things you wanted to talk about. I don't Mr. have a laundry. Mr. Bidia, Mr. Canada Bidia Taco Man. Like we no, don't no, watch no. his Instagram. Yeah, okay. we see you. Well, okay, let's let's just Dick tacos. We see you. I'm not done with all my right, bear. Right, continue, Let me continue, continue my bear okay. breakdown. Bear. I follow Bear on Instagram. I know a few. Here's my facts on Bear. Bear has a has a has a pretty good nuclear Italian family. Yeah. He has his mom. His mom on Instagram lot on Instagram stories is always cooking something. Okay, I wish. What are you doing? You're just having fucking Nutella sticks in the middle? Okay, we'll get just to that in a minute. Sparring around with Danny Fuller. The dude, that, dude, you didn't burn. That's yeah. you have to okay. Uh Bear, his mom's always in the kitchen cooking, always whipping. Like he like they make so much food in that house. Every time he turns his camera on, there's trays and plates but it's insane his sisters are always milling around and then there's a guy named bags who i'm pretty sure johnny me, bags put some respect full name johnny Until bags you know him you cannot discount his I name know, i don't know johnny, johnny bag bags, of donuts but let me tell you my backstory i've concocted about johnny bags okay are you now, selling with all What's with all due put that away with all due respect your father your real your father cook, i thought you would like appreciate it That's nice. your real father passed away when you were three, right? No, Johnny Bags, I'm born and raised. Listen, for, for, those, of you that, for those of you that <laughs> don't know, 
unlike you who kills it, multi-billionaire in the clothing game, no, I came no. from the streets. No, you and I didn't come it. out of the gutter. No, you didn't. You more. live in Newport. Right. <laughs> There's no whatever. streets here. It's just uh, one long right, way. Whatever, whatever. Tell your story. Okay, so Johnny Bags. He Johnny Bag of Donuts. Johnny Bag of Donuts stepped yep. in after your dad. In a, in Johnny Bag of Donuts is the biological real dad. I came out his womb. That's your father. You that came out that man's penis. Yeah. So Balls. You, the way you, the way you Balls. treat Johnny Bags, it makes me feel like he is your stepfather. And I no, didn't know but he was we have a, we have a good relationship because I keep him on his toes. You He's getting old. Yeah. I want him to know. I like hey, watching you guys moment, eat at Nobu. I like watching you guys eat at Nobu yeah. together. I mean, listen, we love all types of foods. Shout out to my Guatemalans. Shout out to my Filipinos. Okay. I love the egg rolls. I love the the limpia, limpa. I like all types of food. So yeah, Sundays we eat at Nobu. Okay. I so, love focaccia so, bread. Shout out to my Italians. So they're always cooking. Sicilian. And then I if you would further, eat your barbecue, but it's so far. It's so far. Yeah. In Canada. Yeah. If, and just to further, just to finish my breakdown of bear, yeah. we're getting we're getting splintered right now. Bear also seems he likes to he likes to Bear's in the stories. An influencer. Bear's no, an influencer. Stop. Don't play me like that off Bear's the break. Okay, sorry. No, 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 no. He's an influence. He's an influencer. This guy, dude, one mess that anything. He's the guy behind them. Right. He's the guy Christ. behind Holy the influencers. Holy Ricky Ricardo with gray hair. What? He's the guy behind the influencers. I'm guessing. I'm just making, okay, I'm making okay, assumptions. Don't typecast me off the break. I haven't even taken off my glasses. I'm still sweating for my 30 second round. I'm making assumptions. He makes I wish the, the man. The man. He, he the, just, I'm gonna say. Let me just. Let me just. Let me just. He's one of these people that just makes things. He makes a lot of money. He makes a lot of money. He shaves his chest. <laughs> he takes. He takes HGH for sure. Oh, this you're dude, hot. This Why dude is so look buff. At his traps. Look how he big he is. He doesn't even. He's do so anything. swollen. He eats Nutella what sticks and does four minutes of working out, and he's this big. The man's juiced up to the look fucking gills. He's a fucking monkey. Look at him. Soft. They're not even hard. They're like fake. I knew at one point you guys were gonna call me out for my size, so I brought a hoodie. No. What do you mean? Take the cover up. Don't no, cover don't up. Cover what do you mean? You're here to be beautiful. Shout out to Jackson okay, Premium he, Jewelry. Real gold, real out. silver. This is literally just bringing product out. Where's our gold necklaces from Jackson? Yeah, why don't I get a necklace? You, don't bring a I need, a, I need another one in between these two. Holy Alibaba, dude. Jesus no, Christ. Dude. <laughs> oh, my God. I thought the game was a little better than that. Jesus. No, those are this heavy. Real get real deal, out. Okay. okay. They hold get out your gold They hold weight. They hold weight. So he's a he's a business person. He's a business person. One day he's selling gummy bears. How many divisions How many divisions do you have? I would like to say I pursue things that interest me and make me excited about life just like jujitsu guys get black belts which i hope to have one day shout out master sensei i like to do things that interest me and get me excited so right. there's no field that i go deep in i don't have a phd i'm not a doctor you're not yeah, a doctor no okay most people might say hey with the precision and how well elegantly i'm spoken maybe i do have a phd but i don't no. right. so just clear that up off you're the break a i don't scientist. want you're no not rumors not a scientist. no no so i like to do things well, i you're enjoy you're diversified 100%. You're you have all your money in Dogecoin or what? Exactly. Yeah. I, exactly. No, many, okay, Dodge rebounded. About, it how, rebounded. Many, how many dog coins did you buy? It's, it's not, not a couple dog, grand it's worth. Doge. Doge. I Doge. bought a couple grand oh worth and it rebounded. I'm good. Don't worry about You're me. Back? It's I'm not back. about money. People that chase money, they'll always fail. Why? Because they have no passion. They have no drive. Exactly. So when things get a little rocky and the ship starts Message. sinking, gambling. they're jumping. Gambling. I do gamble. Yeah. What's what your, kind of gambling? Blackjack. In, out, in, out. Switch tables. That's what they do at Morongo. So a bear's got his paw in a couple paintball uh, yes, parks. paintball, Hollywood sports. So your family, park. shout out to Hollywood sports bars. SC Village, Giant San Diego, Giant Party Sports. Now in Dallas, Texas, it's the number one field in Dallas. Ready is doing phenomenal. Thanks for asking. Who but yeah, knew? we have paintball knew? parks. I didn't even know paintball parks. So people parks just existed. love like going around and playing like paintball. I played. No, it it's once. actually a team building event that causes you to sweat, release endorphins, get stress out. People mm. have been locked up for a year due to different governments and policies. So now they Not get to go of a out. Virus. The virus. I don't talk about this because everybody has mixed emotions. I stay super neutral and I like to just do my thing. Yeah. So let's get back on track. What else were we using? Okay, so he's got multiple paintball parks. He's he's he launched a candy line at one point. It killed it. 100 plus 7-Eleven sold out in three weeks. Not trying to toot my own horn. That came off real arrogant because I was fast with it. Yeah. But put some respect on the candy. I didn't disrespect the candy. No, but no, no I'm just saying. It, are you going back over the top? You some people throw on that? that out there was like I'm an ice cream done? man. Not that I don't like ice cream man. Obviously, I've been eating ice cream my whole life. But don't play me. It was a good brand. Was that one and done? Or are you going to keep that candy No, it was thing exciting. Moving? See, Is that's, the candy that's one thing going? that we should be specific on. That was a project that I wanted. Yeah. I actually was here at Ruka. I was telling Pat, hey, I'm a little overweight right now. It's probably because I eat all this candy. Pat's like, really? And I go, yeah, actually, you know what? I'm going to make my own candy with half the sugar. Mm. But then during the process, I go, damn, the half sugar candy doesn't actually taste that good. Right. I'm going all sugar. You triple the sugar. Yeah. I triple the sugar. More sugar. It went crazy. 7-Eleven yeah. picked it up. We had 300 influencers and content people like doing really cool mastermind content, engaging really cool trends on TikToks, things that went viral. Mm. Yeah. 
similar to viral, as we all know, as he knows what viral is. Yeah. And then next thing you know, <laughs> and next thing you know, it, it worked. Now, when it was done and it was sold out, that's when I kind of go back to drawing board and go, did I like this? Was the money exciting or do I want to keep doing this? And then I realized, hey, it's, it was fun. I don't, I'm not that It's like the English version it. of The Office. They did three seasons, they were done, maybe two. One That's of the like, greatest shows of all time. The English one. The, the American one's really good too. What's the English one? The English Office, the original Office. English TV, they do two seasons and they bow out. They go, you know what? We fucking nailed it. Let's go. Anyways, this man. Right. No one to stop. Yeah. Now, what, what, what How many I businesses have you started? Seventy-four businesses, right? Oh, how many brands it? have you launched? Oh, I've launched tons. I've had good exits. I've had bad exits. I've had how many ups, failures? I've had Can we talk about failures. Tons of failures. People, nice. people watch. My first company I ever failures? launched was selling. Um, it was actually selling pizza discounts right. in Pasadena, Alhambra, Burbank, incredible. all those cities. You had a business that sold pizza. Discounts. And I got sued by Groupon because I didn't know that you can't just steal people's code. So my boy, he was a cyber hacker, like real cyber hacker, next level. Like yeah. we're coming for you on the other side of the world hacking. Yeah. Somehow he built the site, cost me minimal money. Mm -hmm. The exposure was at a low. Like I was like, yo, this thing's going to kill it. Cease and desist. Lost yeah. all my money. So what you're saying is my you can sell. My dad laughed at me in my face. How can, old were you when you did that? You can sell. That was my first brand, 18. 18. 18. Yeah, you, I mean, I had you, other things in paintball, but that was like the first tech brand that, that I was like was you going in on something. Yeah. Lasted you, a month and I lost all my let money. Let me say my cool joke. You yeah. can sell shit to a butthole. I didn't get it out in time. No, it's good. You can say it again. You can sell shit to a butthole, huh, Bear? Thanks, Tito. Yeah. Okay. We should rework that a little bit. I can't get a word in it. I can't get a word. Of comedy shows that you could watch and get new material, it's free too. I just made so it up on that, the spot. After you lost that, yeah. the mentality, how many days were you sad? Was there grief? And then, like, what was the spark that got you back in? Yeah, He's not, wondering for himself. Yeah, not to be on, myself. like, no Gary V, like, rah, rah, like, you don't need Have school. you met Barry Gee? Barry Gee? Yeah, Gary V. Gary he, said, v. he sent me shoes. He autographed them. What, he, the K Swiss? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I go, Jesus, all right, everybody's winning. And he so, had followed me because I said I didn't want him. I, he he sent followed me, a signed me book. and then you filled out, did you, fill cool out the, did you fill out the, 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 to go to the party, you the go whole to the thing. Party, I still, you I fill still out have this it. Thing, he's a app. cool dude. I think he's cool, but I'm just saying, I'm not on my Gary Vee thing. Like, I don't want to be the rah, rah guy, but yeah, I mean, you have ups and downs. I think the most important part is I always had good parents, Johnny yeah. Bags, Mama Mozzarella. They got down in the kitchen and they always kept me on point. They're always like, come on, dude. Let's flip the script a little bit. What sure. made you guys do the powerful truth angels? Because so far I'm hearing no truth. What? We're just, no. You listen, Teflon Dog. Wow. Uh, Holy white Rick Ross. You just go crazy. <laughs> this guy is the man. The, uh, now I know why the internet loves this? you. No. I don't know why. He's, he's fried. Don't, even, don't ask him anything. Let's just talk more about Bear. No, the thing is, he posts so much pizza. I think he forgets which ones he's eating, which ones he's selling, which ones he pizza. bought. I'm on keto. I'm keto like a year. He's fully yeah keto. He's I'm he's a testament to the keto I'm diet. Keto. Oh, this is what real keto hey, does. I've been yeah. thick my whole life. I can't talk. Same as you. True. Yeah, but you you have really. I think you you do that. You know those people on the internet that do the saline pump ups. <laughs> he's like, that, like, saline, like that dude from India. Morning, you like inject saline. Uh, I'm hey, gonna be so honest sick. with you, Maddie. Besides the beard, you have great character. <laughs> At some point, you have to realize bullying people like myself that maybe can't put up with it is not the way to go. You can't bully a man that has a neck like a fucking piece of lumber. I've seen you on the internet. You go like this, and there's just like ears and muscle like this. I love the way, both the, the way you guys play off each other. You guys are amazing people. <laughs> you guys are amazing people. Do you people. have any of your candy here? Because I'd eat a piece. No, we actually, we stopped. So oh, yeah, you're done. Yeah, okay, the next move, we, we killed it. We went move? in. What's the, next for the Honey Group? So the Honey Group is actually a creative agency that used to just run my paintball parks. Right. And the whole thing was, how do we build content? How do we grow the facilities? Because we were spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on paper, yeah. killing trees. I'm so for the Amazon. Yeah. I said, stop right now. Because you kill a tree, then we lose breaths. People lose monkeys. People lose animals. We use the oxygen. The environment crumbles. I said, I'm not doing that. I'm not going to be a part of that. Not one ounce. No, so it said, no more killing bit. trees. How do we go viral? How do we go social? How do we use our phones social. and tech? Tech. And so then what we 5G. started doing, this was like 5G. 2000 and uh, maybe four or five. Yep. And actually the first client, the first person like I was working with was Anderson Silva. Mm -hmm. He had yeah. just started going brazy. Shopify is going nuts. <laughs> the sales must be astronomical right now. Shopify so, going good. Should and we I all pull up our Shopify's? I, got I don't you guys, keep that up on my phone. Crushed. It would shut my phone off. I definitely got you guys crushed. Um, listen, <laughs> so when you're, when you're scheduling yeah. your meetings with your influencers, are yeah. you wearing condoms? 
So yeah, Anderson Silva was so one Anderson of our first Silva, clients. When he broke his leg, he's a raw dog. Let me tell you something about Orange County. No one down here has ever even seen a fucking condom. It doesn't exist. First of all, that's wrong. You should always practice Don't. safe sex when you're doing sexual intercourse, especially for the young viewers watching this. So yeah, Anderson Silva. He doesn't wear them. He doesn't wear. Them. Nobody wears condoms. I don't Look know how you guys get down for where are you from? Fresno? Fuck you. Me I don't know. Back. I don't know where Hell. you're from. I don't, I've never I, been there. I don't know. You look like you a Victor type of guy. You but know listen, where I'm from. All I'm saying is I don't I don't move like that, so I can't relate. But yeah, what you were saying? I've never used a condom. But I've been with Are you married? Woman. Yeah, yeah, for 20. You have yeah. kids. That's how you have kids. You can't I'm wear a condom. A Dude, I gotta do a whole family life class for you guys. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you have a girl? Yeah, I do. You guys get down? <laughs> yeah, we get down. Yeah, we. Influence. Is it like happy or is it more like just frustrated days worth of work? Let's just run it. Yeah, I mean, it, it's great. It's fantastic. Okay, it varies. Cool. Yeah, now he's sweating a little bullet, huh? You got a little bullet action. I see some sweat dropping. All right, so you guys have a healthy relationship. That's all that matters. Yes. In life, there's two things that matter. Yes. Do you go to bed happy mm. and do you wake up happy? Because the rest, you're just dreaming. So who knows what could happen? It's not up to you. That's it. Right? So you wake up on 10, just go. You don't no, even. No, I don't always wake up on 10, what, but I wake up. What's your morning routine? He's a meditator. Aqueous up, transmissions by, by huh? Incubus. The, the Sonos is going crazy. What? I, yeah, that's the song. You, you always have to have a wake-up song. What's your wake-up song? Aqueous transmission. to an Incubus by song. Incubus. <laughs> 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 Ever is a color of his energy. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Is that it? No, no that's, that's totally wrong. That's 311. That's Incubus. Wait, you wake up to Incubus every yeah, morning? Yeah, no, Aqueous ah, transmissions. Ah, ah, how is that? This, that's the song that gets on, you pumped up. On Sonos. Yeah, because on then what happens. He plugs Sonos. Shout out to Sonos. Shout out to Sonos. Is this going to ruin the ad feed on YouTube? Nobody watches this. You wake up every morning to this. Fool, I'm so namaste in my own zone. Off? What is that? The the, the rounds thing? No, this, this is part okay, of culture. We're, okay, that we're in, in the, the background octagon. is authentic. It's why okay. we're sitting in the middle of a ring. This, this is where people culture. bled okay. and sweat. BJ Penn, Michael Bisbing, Pat Tenori, Perillo. They won championships out of here. We should be honored that our feet get to just grace this match. Choo! Choo! This man's got a mouthpiece. Come Look on. Him go. How do you not have a podcast? I don't do these type of things. Why? You just really because you Nori just, made a text and he said, "Yo, come, I'm gonna order Ipono if you show up." It's a Hawaiian food restaurant in Costa Mesa, Where's so Ipono? I showed up. Is that one of yours? Do you own that? No, I don't. But I thought Maddie might find the food joke a little funny. That's how you get a laugh when you tell a joke. All right, but yeah. No, I just accept what. What's happening? Yeah. Lost. yeah, you're in the bear grinder right now. You're getting grinder. fucking shredded exactly right now. Here's the problem. Like, he burnt you, you out. You fly in because you're with your family playing like, you know, the whole Brady Bunch up in Canada. Yeah. You're over here with your girl. Then you guys come to OC. You meet in the middle and you go, now let's get a little crazy. And yeah. now you're sitting in a ring in Ruka Sport interviewing me. And I flipped the tables on you guys. And now you guys are a little shook. And this I'm is with. how we separate the boys from the men. The same Boy Scouts. This is not Boy Scouts. So I, I want to just like start a fire, get a patch, now it's like time learn to wrap how to cook up a, a can bit. of beans. Yeah, it's time to wrap up a little bit. He's a phenomenal cook. I don't know if you knew that. I've I've been aware. I'm of I'm a him. great chef. I know he gets. He did does. you get shook when he asked you about having sex with your girl? Because I got shook earlier just from. No, I just want to. I don't want to say anything that's going to piss anyone. At no, nobody wants. Are to you guys me. married? No, I'm not married. Why haven't you made the move? Uh, it's just not time yet. Hey, it, you always, you always <laughs> have to know when it's time. time yeah, to, hey, unless she has a ring, she ain't gonna be happy. Do you have a steady girl? No. Oh, that's. Stupid. I could never keep a relationship. So you're not. You you don't have any. How am I gonna keep a relationship? I have to deal with women every day. You know how mad and upset girls would be. I don't need the negative energy. Why even inflict that on myself? Here's. I'm gonna give you guys a whole lesson on life, real quick. Yeah. If you get in a relationship, yes. the goal is to keep her happy. Because if she's not keep happy, yourself happy, no, no, no. If she's not happy, you're never gonna be happy. Right. So now you have to keep two people happy. Happy you wife, happy life. It's a very absolutely. Italian proverb, right? Here's here's Go what happens. Bed. If mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. Here's exactly, boys. It's about family first, mm -hmm. and second, you have to understand everybody has emotions. So if you're with a girl, she may want things that you may not want, which is probably getting married. I could see he's not really that interested right now. So well, he's you, old already. How old are you? Twenty nine. Are you really? Yeah. 29. Oh, Had a few rough my. years. He's, yeah. he's just, Venice was rough. So yeah. he's. Oh, you're from Venice? Yeah. Okay. So like, I, I, there's a lot of action going on in your streets right now, by the way. I actually used to go to Venice all the time. It's where I used to buy my $5 holler glasses like mm -hmm. these. Yeah. $5, you get two glasses for yep. 10 bucks on the yep. boardwalk. Yep. Right. Yep. I don't shop there right now because it gets a little crazy. Why? Because all the meth heads? No, I could deal with that. I just don't want to deal with going there with my friends. Someone starts a fight with my friends. I've been training jujitsu for a month. I have to step in. Yeah. Next thing you know, I get choked out. Yeah. I don't need that energy. You don't get. You got a lot of beef. Who wants a you highlight a lot of clip beef. on Instagram? You know. You yeah. want a, tagged photos? You go through it and it's you. And Venice. Well, that's Beach. what's crazy. When I was no. a kid and you get in a Next fight, thing you know, I you just hear about it. It's you like get, I don't want that. 
Guns. <laughs> what? You're taking guns to Venice? Why are you going guns? At the board with the jiu-jitzu. Gun? You're doing jiu-jitsu gun play on the board take the gun away. Listen, listen. Oh, my God. Listen. Unlike you, yeah. I grew up in in the grind in the streets. No, no, no. You, you grew up it. in the hills of <laughs> no, Bel Air. No. There's difference. <laughs> like you, this, I actually Bro. know what it's like to walk the boardwalk with no shoes on because I left them somewhere. You don't know anything. What's up, Perillo? Speaking of champions. Speaking of champions. Wow. All right, is... let's get back to the topic. We were talking so about Tito what. Tito grew up in Fresno around no no smoke. No, Tito's a good guy. Don't tease him. You're always bullying people. All right, so let's get sure. back to. I'm not bullying anybody. Let's get I'm back to. Getting it. bullied. Barry, you got a Dodgers hat on. Yeah, I like. But, but why? Why do you have that? Why don't you have a born? What? How do you, I was, you I was at you got every, the basic I was at one? The you brought Dodger. the Nutella. You, you brought, brought the basic the, the, Dodgers hat? This, 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 is, this is actually... You don't the, strike me as a basic dude. This is actually dude. the Dodger hat that no one has as a pink bottom bill. No. It's the World Series edition. It was given to me by the raised. organization. Yeah, the I don't see raised? a born and raised rock on It's not a real Dodgers hat. They don't send me sleeve packages. Born and raised don't mess with me. I have no tats. You don't need tats. Why would you need tats? Why would you need tats? Because their whole lookbook You just say I have the presence of insane. mind. insane. Have you ever seen one of their lookbooks? There's no tattoos in our lookbook. What are you talking about? You're lookbooks? just very... When's the last lookbook at Born and Raised you take a look at? And I don't really know. Your team it? is awesome. I'll put it like that. My team is awesome. They're yeah, wonderful. They have one. a lot of number size. One. Number one. They have a lot of size. We, Listen, before you start capping on my hat, it has a pink bottom bill. This is a question. Yeah, this hat Why goes Why would you not want the real, the real LA glasses? hat? Are they nice? No, they're No, no. Those are $5 bangers. $5. That's incredible. Saint yeah. Oh no, these are actually St. Owen. Owen. Shout out to Matt from Event Sevenfold. This is his wife's company. Okay. Oh, this whole time I think Shout I'm wearing that. my Venice Southern Beach. California Avenge it's Sevenfold. Fine. Yeah. Avenge Sevenfold. So Orange Matt's County, it's insane. From Avenge Sevenfold. Yeah. Val, incredible. she has an amazing sunglass company. It's called St. Owen. She, yeah. She hooks me up. There you go. That's very nice. Hey, take care of your people. What's what wrong? People? What happened to society that we can't take care of our people? I'm gonna tell you guys something right now. If you are willing to go spend $50 on Chanel glasses, they're probably $500. I'm just throwing out a random number. Don't price check me. If you're willing to spend $50 on Chanel glasses, yes. but you're not willing to spend $50 on your homie's new sunglass company that he's starting, because I know what it feels like to Put have your a homies brand. Support what, what, what are we doing here? But you got them for Slice. free. You're going to go. You yeah, I got them for free. I got them so for free. So why, why are you telling everyone to spend because money for the homies? But you don't spend, what do you spend money on? You didn't spend any money. Yeah, I bought these Nikes. Did you buy that Rolex? Why, why what about we, this diamond ring? This double diamond band so ring. So Jackson actually makes everything real gold, real silver. This Jackson? is a 14 karat. No way you make real stuff. Yeah, you, have a piece, a do you have a piece of Jackson? Let me yeah, see. This, yeah, I do. Wait, is, you, is that Jackson? Yeah, Jackson. Actually, is that actually Jackson? Yeah, yeah. So Jackson carries real gold, real silver. Let me see. This is a 14 karat white gold ring with Maddie, get out your diamonds. diamond tester. Do you have your diamond tester on you? Yeah. Hold yeah. on, let me. Where's my? Beep, 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 no. beep, beep, beep. As you can see, the shine on that thing goes brazy. Shout out to YG. This is not. No, it fits him. Look at that. This isn't you don't have tattoos, eroded. dude. Your hands look like David Beckham's. You got you all kinds. You should be a hand model. You don't have any tattoos, Bear? No, no, no. I'm fresh. I got no ink. I'm thinking about maybe getting a sleeve. Just a sleeve? A sleeve? Yeah. Koi I wanted fish? to get, I wanted to get, get an sleeve. angel holding up Diego Maradona, one of my favorite soccer players of all time. Why don't you try this? Don't get any what? tattoos. What? <laughs> what? That's the new move. What? The you new move like, is yeah, just yeah, to yeah, not what? get tatted. Just don't yeah. get anything. Don't no. get anything. Nothing. You're the new. This is punk. This is the new. This is this the is new punk. tattoo is no tattoos. I have no problem with tattoos. All my friends have tattoos. But for me personally, I don't think I could pull them off. I'm not that tall. I don't yeah. look good in white tees. You have to wear white tees so they shine. I don't yeah. have like a tattoo body. Yeah. You have a great body. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you just... So bear. Yeah. Um, the, the, by the, the way, thank you for allowing me to be on this, because that means a lot to me that you I guys. I really appreciate I know you, guys you have being had some on this. Insane guests. We have. Um, we, we've had the best. Who's which, FaceTime? Oh. Who's FaceTiming you? Oh, look at this baddie! I'm on a podcast right now with Maddie Matheson. He's from Canada. He's a famous chef. She's from Canada. Oh my God, huh? Olivia What's Pearson. That? Where are you from? Vancouver. Vancouver. What's look at this is one of the most famous chefs in all of Canada. His name is Maddie Matheson. Hey. Bobby Lee's Bob, I, I, that was a good podcast. Clout. For the record, that was I'm a good growing podcast. his clout. Shout out to Bobby. And I'm sitting wow. here with um, Two Tone. He owns a brand. What's it called? Born and raised. Born and raised. Uh, born and raised. I'm an, I'm an entrepreneur, just like this Bear. is a good podcast. But I'm a more slimmed down version. I'm Olivia not, Pearson, not checking in. Check out. What's your Instagram? Olivia Pearson. Hey, can we hit you back when we're done with the pod? Yeah. You look amazing in that top, by the way. Oh <laughs> Crazy. Look at those eyes. All right, love you, bye. So, she's such a good person. <laughs> did you guys fuck? No, dude. Okay, I just what, ask you. I don't not know. Everything needs to be about sex. What about? It, did you guys ever go to dinner and share some bread and mm. dip it in olive oil together and talk about issues or things that are going on and actually issues? get to know do you each ever other? Talk about issues? You no, know what you're I'm talking just about saying. Issues. What? What? Like, let's spread a good message. Let's spread a good message. So, 
<laughs> when did you <laughs> bear <sighs> consulting for like brands? I see yeah. like on your Instagram, you're always putting up just like blatant facts of like IBM is here. Yeah. And from like from the beginning of the time that that business has started yep. to where it is now, you're always just putting they, up they like they hold the most. You're just putting up facts. Who year. is that for? Like you're for just me. putting up stuff like you're literally like cut and paste from like Bloomberg or whatever it is, and then and then you put it up on your Instagram. What is that? Two things. Like you're so just giving one, information, but it's like you're yeah. just showing like you're like I'm aware of these businesses that have made billions of dollars. I'm letting you know that these businesses have made billions of dollars. There you go. Does that associate you and Honey Pots or whatever to those businesses? Honey Group. Baron Honey. You group, invited right? me on the podcast. You don't know the name. That's, of that is kind of rude. Come on, Honey that Pots. was aggressive. Like the way he said. Gre- the way he I'm asked me to that on Twitter tonight. The way he Honey asked group. me to, to tell her what what company do you own. That he was says funny. Me, does, no, it's just yeah, as rude. Make, oh, it's just rude. rude. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it is rude. You never no, say. You see how I make amends? This is what you should do to Twitter. Well, I'm sorry. This is what you should do to Twitter. Baron Honey Group. Okay, so Honey Group. To be honest, two things. Hundred percent honest, so people know in case they do see this. I don't know how many. Hundreds or thousands or millions of people are going to watch this. Millions. Millions. Number one. Millions. I enjoy looking at data because it reminds me and teaches me things because it's cool to see how businesses scale. One of the things I do for businesses is scale them. How many businesses have you scaled like in your rep, like in your portfolio of businesses? Who have you taken from like ground zero to like a multi-million dollar business? Yeah. I mean, like does Honeypot ever do that? Yeah. Yeah. Or does like, do they actually? I've taken flat pieces of dirt and turned them into 10 million plus businesses a year. Now you right. have access so, to all the influencers, right? Is that part of your strategy? But it's, your business it's is mostly creators. with influencers. I think, I think in content 2021, creators. we should call them content creators. Okay. Content because creators. what they do for brands is more than just influencers. I think influencers has a bad kind of rap to it now because right. of the way- He you specializes know. in cream of the crop, Caucasian content creators. Am I wrong? I don't know what Caucasian means. Okay, good. He's good. He caught that. <laughs> You know what that means. I don't, but uh, so I specialize in friends? working with everybody on the internet that produces quality content. <laughs> but how did content. you, the biggest question that everybody's wondering, because everybody that's watching this yeah. obviously knows who you are. Okay. How did you get in with like the Paul brothers and become such good friends with, so, with, with the Pauls? We were talking about Anderson Silva. Right. So when I first started originally, we were building the facilities. I was like 15 and with Where, my who's bag. Who's Anderson Silva? The paintball. He's one of the He's a fighter. Broke his shin? Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to let you slide on that one. We're sitting in an octagon where people burned in sweat to hold that title, that no, belt. I, I don't know Anderson Silva. Which one is he? Yeah, he we got to get your team athleticism team. cultured up. Unless we're talking about hockey or maple syrup, you seem not to know much about either. anything. Fighter. Yeah. So which one is I he? met this guy. I met this guy along with a bunch of other people way back in the day when we were first building our brands, which is our parks, me and Johnny Bag of Donuts. Johnny Bags, and yep. at that moment, I was saying, hey, listen, I'm coming out of high school. I have ways of taking marketing to new levels. Facebook has this new thing. It's a geo-targeted ad and it's this and that. I'm like, we should make videos and photos. At the time you uploaded manually videos Mm -hmm. to Facebook. I go, we should make content with these people that come and let them tell people what their favorite part about playing paintball was. So at at the time it was hashtag this, hashtag that. We had all these little campaigns going. Cheeto. Oh, what up, Cheeto? That's another UFC. UFC. Champ. Yeah. I know Cheeto. Okay. Ruka advocate the whole nine. So I meet Anderson, Anderson to other people, and it literally went from, you know, having people like David Beckham or Christian Bale and Anderson Silva to these guys like Jake Paul and Logan <laughs> how did Paul. You, how did you just hold on? You went from Anderson Silva to <laughs> yeah. Christian Bale. Yeah, yeah, how yeah. does that happen? I'm just saying this is the There's variety different of people levels that of, would I come know, with sports. Right, right. Yeah. Christian Bale's so, in there shooting paintball. He's the nicest guy I've ever met. And he has an amazing accent. You would think he sounds like Batman 24-7. He doesn't. He's from Australia. Have oh, you I seen, don't know. Have you no, seen no, him No, he's not. He's English, yeah, you but fuckwad. He's, uh, Listen, what? have you seen the movie where he plays a white Australia. cholo? No, I haven't. It's amazing. Okay. He's, he so, ma- but you guys you guys scatterbrain a lot. Pitch perfect white cholo. You guys need an assistant on this podcast because you guys go from here to here. <laughs> no, we're, we're, talk, we're, 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 we're inspired by your words constantly. Oh, okay. okay. Well, I don't know. You seem okay, to know actually, a lot when about you, podcasts, high school, When you come out of high school and you start a paintball academy with Joey Bags, right? Yeah, Johnny Bags. Now, did he have the idea or you guys started together? He already had one. He already had a part. He already had one. we were building another one. And you brought in the youth and the idea of social media and the exposure. And you're like, let's yeah, geotag and a, and a kids it. League, and a kids league. A kids That's league. what made paintball go crazy is right. I had this thing. It's still around. It's yeah, called Chief Bears. Chief Keef pulled up. I saw that. Yeah, yeah I did right. a whole Viceland documentary with him. Chief Keef, by the way, just so we're all clear. All clear. One of the most influential people in my whole career. Put me on with everybody and RIP Kobe Bryant. He introduced me to the whole Lakers staff, did a Time Warner special with the team and put me on with all the basketball players. That's how I met everybody through him. And so one thing led to another. And then the Rolodex kept building, the network kept building. But 
it didn't build out of a place of let me meet you and get you right. a brand deal or let me meet you and I get to go party with you. It was just, let me just take care of you, come to the park, yeah. I'll shut it down. So no one can be there except you and your friends, and we'll have, have a great day. Have you ever lit up Joey bags just full Johnny fucking Bex. steam? Johnny Beck, sorry. Have you ever this hit guy's up? Out of pocket. Have you ever hit up? Jo have you ever lit him up with the paintball? No, we, gun? we we don't play. The just guy's focused fun. on making money, and he loves the game, but like we don't play. We like play. That. <laughs> What? Would you shut the whole park down for me and two tones? Yeah, we could do whatever like you want person, for Born and Raised. Do you ever do one-on-one? Raised, on one? Born and Raised company game? Yeah, do you yeah, ever yeah, do one-on-ones? Yeah, so we had... I used to play all one over the on world. One. I used Just to play paintball all over the world. Shout out to Canada. Shout out to Canada. One-on-one. Yeah. On one. Back, let's back it up a little bit. Do you want to come in? And what would it take for you to come in and take Born and Raised from where we're at, which is pretty big? We're exploding. I don't work with t-shirt companies. I have an exclusive. We're not a t-shirt company. <laughs> what are you guys? We're a multifaceted media and I don't work company. with anybody that does any licensing deals with Lakers or Dodgers. We or don't do. Okay. Really? <laughs> yeah, I can't. You're okay. Let's say theoretically. Why yeah. can't you? Theoretically. What? Could Why you come you? into I Born and Raised? I have allegiance to the, to the Chevrons. Oh. Theoretically, you could you come into Shout Born and Raised? Shout out to Ruka. That's let's the Chevron. Right. Let's say Pat gave you the opposites. Let's say Pat gave you the blessing. Could you come into Born and Raised and could you scale us? Could you triple us? Yeah, I think overnight I could turn you guys into one of the most insane profitable companies without spending one more dollar than you already have. And you uh, guaranteed just through ads. How would you do that? Just, just, through, ads. just through ads? Just by ripping your current marketing budget and applying it into a way that you guys probably wouldn't see fit. Cause what most people are scared of you is losing the culture within a brand. Yes. So they're so focused on staying on brand yes. that they get scared of using these performance style ads on Facebook and mm. Instagram and TikTok. And then eventually it's, do you want to be too cool for school or do you want to make money? And you mm. have to be able to find the balance. Shout mm. out to the balance of opposites. But you got to be able to find the balance of doing that. So what happens is I see this every day when I do a brand. That's why I'm very picky with who I work with. Mm. So from Would you work with me? I think one of your smartest moves is doing the pan because I think the next move is a collab with William Sonoma worldwide tour and then doing in-store activations. I think you would kill it. But whatever, that's later. But so, yeah. If, so if, if Lisa made it down here with me today, she could negotiate with Bear, so but she back, didn't want to come. Back Thanks, to what Lisa. I was saying. I oh, think she's that gonna be mad. She I actually be. am a fan of your brand and I'll tell you why. Okay, tell me why. I think your brand is one of those brands that actually relates to the culture because you guys are a part of it. Mm -hmm. Unlike all these other brands that use hashtag lifestyle, hashtag culture True. and don't have any tie. True. Like you're still doing this, but you're like a billionaire. And it's like, you don't need to be doing this, but you do this because <laughs> yeah. you enjoy the movement I, and yeah. the time. That's why we, this is a hobby. The, this, is a hobby. this is not a like, hustle. Like you're, this you're, is not a hustle. You're the I, like, I like that I drove this sign down here yeah. and I'm a billionaire. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. The, the Canadian. I ran a Camry. Canadian chef, right? You're a Canadian. You're from yes. Canada. Yeah. Yeah. Canadian well, he chef. was. No matter what you do, you can always have a home in Orange County. I don't know about LA, Absolutely. but Orange County will always take The you. one thing that, that everybody likes to bag about Orange County, it's pretentious, it's this, it's that. Orange County is the melting pot. Yeah. It, it is. It's like people like to say these Orange County on the is not the melting pot. There's it's the melting not pot. A, no, 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 Listen, no, 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 no. Listen, well, because you're yeah, from yeah, LA, yeah, you're yeah, swayed yeah. and you're biased, but I will tell you something. The cool thing about Orange County, we have a beach to look at. We have never ending goals because we don't look at a mountain and then our life stops. We get to see into the infinite distance. J Captain Jack Sparrow stuff. I go to the, I'm I go on to the, the same pier. coast. No, no, what are you no, talking no, about? No, no. You guys you know are the beach at doesn't stop. Towers you know the beach doesn't stop. It goes it goes all the way through no, no, Venice to Malibu. It stops at like Seal. It stops at like Seal. It stops at Signal Hill. The water just stops at concrete I'm going to ask a serious question. I'm going to be completely serious. This is going to solve all the issues. Have you ever been on the ferry in Balboa? I don't even know what the fuck you exactly. just said. I don't exactly. know. Wait, what's Balboa? Here's, here's the point. He have, you ever taken a, have you ever taken a moonlit walk down the canals at midnight? Bro, before you were learning what cut and sew was, I was in Venice running racket all up and down the canals, doing things that That's you wish true. you could do That's now. That's not true. This is a falsehood um, amongst See, many. I'll do fact checking whatever, on this later. Whatever. We're going to check on you. We're going to do some fact checking. We're going to do some Venice fact checking. I love Venice. <laughs> He's so chill. Look at him. He's I love Venice. I love Venice. I'm glazed. Why? Was, are you high? No. So do you smoke weed? No. Ew. Canadians we don't, don't do, do that? No. Drugs are stupid. You're not a drug guy. I know that. I don't do drugs. You I don't drink. Few, you have a little Prosecco now. I think a lot of people think that he's probably high no, no, on cocaine right now. Who? I, I bet a lot of our fans. No. Fans, full disclosure. Give it full, to them. Full disclosure. Bear doesn't get does high. It, does not fuck with any types of drugs. If you are at home and you're watching this and you think you need to do lines of coke to have a good day, you're wrong. You're Let me wrong. explain something to you real I don't quick. do drugs me, and I don't drink. Maybe a, one time a year I drink, but that's only when I'm on a boat. I got 10 girls. We go, ooh, I do the whoop-de-whoop. -whoop. There's Everybody another person. Excited. That's about there's it. Another, there's another, the, there's another the, person. The, the Hold the fuck up. Do you know the problem hey, with him? Guys. He's never been on the ferry. He can't what relate to me. What is the ferry? Me. You guys, can't relate can to me. Can I just say something? There's levels to this. There's another person. in LA looking at a mountain with your dreams and everything you want. 
just instantly being landscaped by a big giant rock and I'm his in, perception I'm that your reality coast. just hits a wall. My I reality, I can see Catalina <laughs> Island. There's an island. Listen, you dump truck. You've been to Catalina I can before. see Catalina too. There's an island one you've hour on a boat. You've never been to Catalina. There's an island. You've never been okay, to Catalina. Before you guys scream over nugget. each other, I don't You're know where you learned this because not put up with this, but there is an island 30 minutes on a speedboat <laughs> with big giant buffaloes on the back I of it. Can see this. What do, you, do you have I've buffaloes been in Venice? I've been there. Yeah, do we you, got them. Yeah, we got them. We got bison. Wrong, we got all that wrong, shit. Wrong, we got all the wildlife. Fact check them. Yep. The only bison you Jason. have is the burger you're eating at The Ark. stork is on it. Yeah. There's another person that comes on this podcast that has energy. Cool. Yeah. I'm not going to say his name because we're not saying his name today. We're not there's saying another, his name. There's another person that comes on that has energy. Let me guess. It's Benny Blanco. No, no, no. no, no, no. That's no, no, your no. guy. No, that's no, his Benny's guy. my homie. Yeah. Benny's going to come on soon. Benny's uh, going to come on. I thought it was Benny. I've I'm seen him on this. his stuff. No. There's another Everybody person knows, that comes on. But Two Tone has, now, I just want to preface this. Two Tone is now striking the H word. I don't say the H word. He doesn't say the H word anymore? No. Heroin? No, 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 no. no, no. It's a I'm person. not going to say his name. It's like fucking Voldemort. I can't say it. There's another person that comes on. He has a lot of energy like you. Okay. Right? But here's the thing. Everything you're, all your energy, there's actually stuff behind it. Yeah. This other person comes on with all this energy is Fugazi. It's just a shell. Why? It's just a shell game. Why? Because he's living this LA fantasy. I don't, see, that's why I moved to Newport. I don't like the LA game. I actually love LA people. Mm. I love the environment. I think everybody should At lunchtime, should go do you ever it. go to Vodka and bag a cougar just for the hell of it? I that, don't that almost bag happened to me. anything unless it's my groceries like at Trader right? Joe's, first of all. Second of all, <laughs> Vodka is an amazing establishment filled so with nice. great people. That we should go there. Yeah. Mastro's. I, I love, love Mastro's. Mastro's. I love the butter cake. I love the. You love the butter Top cake. Top three more things than you do when you go to Mastro's. Number one, you walk in, you go, can I get the scallops on the bread, extra sauce, but put the sauce on top of the scallops so the bread's not all moist by the time you eat the scallop. Mm -hmm. Number two, you get macaroni and lobster, but you get that off the hot when they bring the bread. So by the time you're halfway through the meal, the girl's like, man, I'm already full. Save myself a hundred on a ribeye. Next thing, <laughs> what? Fair. What? What? Fair. Okay. Yeah. Next thing you and get then an iceberg. Tip the pianist. The pianist. Bear. 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 Pianoist. Bear. Pia bear. No, it's pian bear. pianist. Pianist. I need. I need to ask you a serious yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. I ask everybody. That. I didn't even get to finish number three, but whatever. So well, I hope you guys. Three meeting at Mastro's. No, yeah, you guys gotta watch the next podcast. I'm not three? telling you. What's number you three? guys need to learn how to not talk over how? each other. How? I'm gonna teach you guys podcast etiquette. How I've been you... doing this a long time. I'm not saying anything. How do you eat? It's my first podcast in years. How do you eat all these carbs and not look like us? How do you do it? Tell me the secret. I need a secret. Science I need to hack. I'm going to tell you guys one thing without sounding like secret. a douchebag and all due respect to people that classify themselves as douchebags. I'm not saying anything against you. I know you how the internet no works. No one ever say you're a douchebag. Okay. But one thing is, and I'm going to be honest without sounding crazy. If you don't eat till 11 and you don't eat past eight, you will always be good. Doesn't matter what you eat. That's crazy. That's not true. Yeah, that's, yeah, what I do. that's complete horseshit. That's what I yes, do. It is. That's that's bad advice. That's, bad, that advice? that's I bad advice. Because bad advice. That's what a, I do. I eat within a six-hour window. How much protein you eat a day? How much you weigh? He's at least two chickens. Wait, wait. Let's let's dissect he this eats real two quick. Chickens. Hold up. Let's dissect this. I know you're a chef. I know you could count yeah. calories. And how much? How much you weigh? Anywhere between two sixty and two eighty, probably. No so, way. so you're you're what do you, mean, you no are two thirds less of a protein intake that you actually need to burn calories all day. What you eat for breakfast? Chicken. I had juice. Wrong. There you go. Start your day off with no, calories on. that calories. you're ingesting. Yeah. First of all, there's a golden rule of cutting weight. You don't drink anything that's colored. I had has breakfast. To be water. I had that's breakfast it. at all one. I drink is water. Yeah. What'd you eat? That's but in my juice, let me tell you what my juice was: beets, broccoli, uh, leafy vegetables, all vegetables, oh, all vegetables. Oh my god! Oh my, I drank this, it in the yo, car. You, I guess you were from Mother's Market. I made it myself. <laughs> Fuckface. Rice. This guy. And no then, way you eating juice at 11 in the morning. One o'clock is when I eat breakfast. I eat breakfast at one o'clock. I worked out for two hours. Where'd you work out? At undefeated. What I do you do? Jiu -jitsu? I did jiu -jitsu and I did oh, I saw you got a blue belt. Thank Respect. You. Hey. Os. Os. They say os. They say os. We don't say it in our class, but I'll say it. Os. If my sensei was here, if my sensei was here, I'd have him wrap a gear around your neck because he's a black belt. Your sensei? That's yeah. so weird. Your sensei's a black belt. That's crazy. Yeah. He's my, next level. Alan goes. Alan goes. <laughs> Carlson Gracie lineage. I'm Should coming we? from straight Rio de Janeiro. How, I don't uh, do this LA, get my blue belts from random people. I get it from the, the lineage oh of the hierarchy. God. Now you're sitting up. We're going to put some real shit. We'll have to put up. Let's go hey, no gi. Jiu-Jitsu community shit. gets we're crazy. Gonna go, we're going to go no gi right now. Hey, Jiu-Jitsu community. No, no gi. I said, we'll go no gi. No gi. What do you mean? I'm the best no gi besides Gordon Ryan. Let's go. I'll, I'll pull up a highlight reel right now. I'll no, no. Pull, no, no. I'll pull up a highlight reel. You, can't you guys pull up want a hi highlight reel? No, we'll just right, do it right I'll, here. We'll just go no gi. The go problem, no gi right the here. Problem, with the camera. The problem with me is yeah. you're sizing me up. Oh, he's 5'9, looks like a meatball, maybe doesn't have good stamina or balance. I roll I'm with an you. athlete. I roll with you in Hawaii. Yeah, and you're like that, a you're like a puffy bag of air. There's nothing in there. Started. Wow. And guess what? You want to know what happened in Hawaii? You want to know what happened in Hawaii? I don't even know what happened. No, he did what every everyb
<laughs> he scared you. I just talked to him for a half me. hour before I whispered in his ear. I'm going to fuck you up the ass. He's fucking piece of shit. I'm going to get you. Hey, Bouchesha, handle my light work. Right. And then what Bouchesha do? Wah, wah, ooh, armbar, ooh, ankle lock, ooh. He showed him. Reverse key, double over on Tondra, done. Marcus is very good at jujitsu. He's very good at that. He's very good at jujitsu. You know the one rule I have about people that train jujitsu? I have one rule. What? You respect anyone who puts on a gi. We're all warriors. Right. Right? Right or wrong? Right or wrong? Right or wrong? Show me some love. Right or wrong? Hey. We're all warriors. Let's go. Let's go. If you sweat on the mat and you clean it when you're done, which is a huge pet peeve of mine because I see people, oh my God, sloppy, toppy, jalopies all over the mat. You know what they do? Liquids all over the place. Liquid. They're, Aminos. Yeah, yeah. They're out here just precipitating. Yeah. You know what I tell Ringworms. them? Clean that thing. Yeah. Get a mop. Get a mop. Put some bleach. respect on the lineage. Carlson yep. Gracie in Rio de Janeiro. That's how I get down. Holy shit. A lot of words came out of this man, I got to say. All right, let's get back to what people want to know. We were talking about business or something. No, we're talking about you what having sex like? with influencers without a condom. And how yeah, do you skirt? I just wanted what to is know. it? What's the force field that goes around your penis in Orange County that, that keeps you free of herpes, you know chlamydia, crazy? and if gonorrhea? my mom were to watch this, and I have a little sister. Your mom's never going to watch this. Yeah. She, she, uh, she likes content. She, she, I send her all kinds of things. Earth pics. They have all kinds of crazy videos. Yeah, it's an account on Instagram. Craziest adventures of people doing the most wildest things. I send it to her. You know what she goes? She goes, get to work. Make some money. She does? Yeah, she, she like gets that. me Stop going. Me that. Stop you know what Johnny Bag says? What? Get off Instagram. You're wasting my time. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I'm like, all right, cool, Bags. Johnny I'm Bags. on it. Johnny Bags is a, they, is a they mentor and a guy. Don't, they don't ever get annoyed with you when you have the camera out and you're talking to them. They fucking love it, right? They like being yeah, on the stories. Yeah, so the camera goes off and they go, you're out of the trust. They yell but whatever. You. The trust. <laughs> Can we come over for to eat sometime? Yeah, 100%. My dad will cook you the most insane meal you've ever had. It he had restaurants so and nightclubs. He knows how to cook like you, but doesn't use as much seasoning and all that more natural of a chef. But he'll cook. But he'll do <laughs> lamb chops and spaghetti. Everything's made by hand. <laughs> I salivate. And, and here's when the problem. I see your here's the problem that most. The here's the problem that most people don't realize. We're, go we're, we're, we're no, it's okay. We're we're novel Don. We're from Napoli, right? Yeah. Like real Napoli people, like Diego Maradona winning championships for us in Napoli. You can hear yeah. it in your voice. Yeah. How Italian you are. So my grandpa, when he came here from Italy, no job, no nothing. Yeah. He opened up a bakery in L.A. And that's how he met people and did things and grew his little empire that he made, which is amazing. He's still alive today. And uh, he what made- What does he do now? Just retire? Yeah, yeah. He moved the bakery into his house. And only people that want to get pastries, he makes for special. What does he make? The dry, he, the dry- Everything. Everything you can imagine. You want me to pull it up? No. Okay. How do you get to eat all So, shit? and what he does him. is he's he, so he's been- He's, he's, he's so, been- Dude, I'm so afraid of bread. Dude, he, he I drinks one, like broccoli, I broccoli one puree, broccoli. broccoli. <laughs> That's, you it's know what? Up. That's because yeah. you're not hydrated. So He's not hydrated. I drink more no. water than you could ever imagine. No. no. Wrong. But Dude, I have a, a, I have maybe a it's your DNA. Hey, hey, hold on. Yeah, it's his DNA. Hold on. Maybe he hold just on. has sad hold DNA. If Mr. Miyagi was here, he would say, wax on, wax off. You're getting too frustrated over things you can't control. I drink you're a lot of water. I drink a lot of water. Powerlessness. You're not born to be an athlete. powerless truth angels. Listen, at the end of the day, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm just jealous. I'm being honest. Two things. I want to eat all that fucking macaroni. Dude, I feel like there's, you know the Danny cool thing Tuba. about Ruka? What? Is there's warriors everywhere. You never know. You got to get some B-camp swivel here. Yeah, see there's all just these guys warriors. No. There's yes. warriors everywhere. Aloysius, Definitely get Aloysius. I really hope that he's painting us or drawing us. No, he's drawing a penis. We I know. know. Here, but like, you guys like talking about <laughs> the... Thank yep. you, Perilla. There's not Thanks, a Perilla. Okay. So you guys realize That's something. That's how you throw punches. You throw all the punches at once. It's true. It's true. Are you going if you don't shoot your shot, punches and if you don't punches. Your shot. Oh, it's disgusting. What are you doing with his hair? Yo, the rat tail in the Jason? back, holy in sync. Can the camera see these blonde tips? Guy no. looks like Justin Timberlake in 1999. But listen, Can let's get back Perilla to the come basic. Can on for one second and talk about championships? Yeah, he is a champion trainer. Okay, I want to have Jason on for one second. You're, 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 no, no, no. He yeah. stays here. We have two microphones. Okay, should I move to the outside? You here? move to the outside. Right. Yeah. Look, so Pearl Jason, Bing, BJ Penn. I want to. I want to hear from a like a like a, a championship boxing coach about because these are different kinds of mentality. I can't compete with. I can't compete no, 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 no. no. But this is the thing: is champion need, of business. You know, champion like but still the mindset. Every day. But what kind of mindset? But still working every what day. What kind of what does it take to continuously perform at a level of a champion? Hard work, right? Is okay, like talking to the fucking Hit mic. Brilla, tell us. Jason. What do you want me to tell you? Hey, buddy. There's no secrets. There's no secrets. It's hard work. 100%. That's it. Look into the camera. You you brought this man on to ask him how you do things, and he says hard work. Hey, well, listen. <laughs> there it's we go. True. I mean, it's common sense, right? No, Are we having a common sense conversation over here? Are we having a, I mean, really, right? Common sense. My yeah. my question is, this man, we, we had a talk about sleep apnea the other day. Okay, when I was that's here. nice. 
That's something we can get into. Okay, let's talk about. I bought two machines. Haven't you, brought, used you have a them. travel one. I have a travel one, and I have because uh, I had twenty inter, uh, interruptions per hour. I have forty six. You have forty six. See, you're worse than me. Yeah. So, that makes so this me feel is like good. no sleep, right? Forty six interruptions. You're just going like this. Yeah, you're just like your no, body, but you're happening. still deep well, you're, enough. Basically, but, somebody's going like this forty six times an hour. I go to bed at three a.m. So I wake crazy. up at six. It's so scary, right? Every really? minute, yeah. fifteen yeah. seconds. Every minute, and fifteen seconds, you're out. <laughs> like the choking. So now thing. You, oh. you're doing. You, now you do the machine. I started the machine. Yeah. Well, how do you feel? I feel the thing that fucks me on the machine is when I wake up because I I pee like five times a night. So I pee five the times bed a night. Or do you make it to the toilet? Hey, hey. Both. Hey. Both. Well, we back in the day, I used to. I was just peeing. I was a shout out to all the I, I, I was a bedwetter. You know, up until probably twelve, I used to go to sleep over at people's houses. Maybe I bring a, over my pee sheet. That's a sleep. I have my little pee sheet. That's a sleep apnea thing. PP Matheson's coming over. I'd I'd go bring my little pee, my little plastic pee bag. Is that a lot? That's a lot. This, no, is, great. Great. This, this is one better. of the most glorious podcasts I've ever been on, by the way. Yeah. No, so, 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 but, 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 but I wake up. The thing that annoys me the fucking most is when I I wake up to go pee and the things you don't realize how much air is going in. So you wake up, you're like, because <gasps> it's gnarly. pushing so much fucking Fuck air into you. Gnarly. Then to put it back on to fall asleep after you go piss, you hit your knee on the edge of the bed. You do whatever. You put the fucking mask back on and then you're like, <laughs> I get claustrophobic. But this was it freaks me out. You're you're not, you got the full mouth. Your face. I just have to know you're not fat. Full. Why, why, do, you, why do you have thing? sleep apnea? You're not fat. It's because you get my whole life since I was since I was a kid. Getting your nose broken? No, from the time I was a baby. Just have you ever had your deal. nose broken? I used to woke up. Oh yeah, my nose just flats out. I have nothing oh. left in there. But um, Jesus, push it down. No, <laughs> but it. no. Since I was a, when I was a little kid, my mom used to. I, was, I would wake up and I'd be in the bathroom in the shower because mm. she was thinking that I couldn't. The, she's thinking the steam from the shower would help you. Would help you know right. clear me out, and I'd be able. No, my whole life, people, my kids come and go. Dad, we thought you were dying last night because they just look at my chest and my chest just going. Jesus. And I'll come out. <gasps> 46 so times. Up. 46 yeah, times. Uh, I wake up like that all night, every night long. It's mm. horrible. And usually I'll have dreams to wake me up like I'll be getting buried alive or something. <laughs> then I'll get me awake. You should micro You're in that wake, it that wakes you up. Yeah. It does, man, when you think you're getting buried alive. Micro-dose? It does because you yeah, can't breathe. Help you sleep. Is that it's the intense, answer? man. No, I mean, people do it's it. a real thing. It'll, it'll sleep apnea. Right. Sleep apnea is a real thing. People die I'm from that. I'm a victim that. of it. I'm a victim of he it. He says the way you fix sleep apnea is microdosing. Yeah, a lot of people microdose. Two different theories. Two yeah. different theories. The Two thing is, is Put a machine on your face, take acid every day. Take acid. Yeah, See, what that's is? the problem. You guys have to understand the science of what I'm talking about here. Okay. What are you, you microdosing? Guys are putting a bad rap on the Come on, Fauci, community. give it to us. <laughs> do you got microdose? Are you? I don't do it. But, I'm uh, a big believer in it, though. But I don't do okay. it. Okay. I just like. So, but wait, you don't even do drugs. So then, but you. But why would you not do something that you believe in? I've done enough studies on it. I've done my research. Do you do studies? the mi- research? Do you do the microdosing? Like interns? No, no. I, we, we've studies? done some reading. We've done some reading. We picked You've up. You've done some reading, like on Wikipedia. No, but here's the thing: when people microdose. And they're able to control their environment mm. subconsciously. Right. It actually helps everything: breath work, blood circulation, your body, your movement. Because what most people don't realize breath work's very important. What most people don't realize, like you, you maybe <laughs> I, I ate too much maple syrup. I got too much bacon. Canadian, whatever you guys it do. Happen. Yeah. What but you, what most people don't the realize. Only joke you have. What is maple, maple syrup? Just, that's all you guys have: maple syrup and hockey. That's it. We have a lot. We have a lot of stuff. Yeah. Americans, yeah. we have a, as a whole. Yeah, yeah, but that's it. We, we invented surfing. Yeah. Well, I don't, that. Surfing, that I don't know about that. I don't no. think that's true. Skating, we what, Americans sure invented, invented skating. We definitely invented skating. Skating, boxing, boxing. Gang banging, the internet. Influencing. Facebook, streetwear, Instagram, streetwear. TikTok, Triller. Baseball Playboy, hat. Triller. What's up? The most important things in the Jake world. Jake Paul, Logan Paul. You we invented, invented that, everything. Yep, what that, else you want? That's it. Yep. The world's done. That's a wrap. Sure, that's all we need to do. Dippin' Dots, we definitely invented Dippin' Dots. I gotta finish this. I gotta the world. Yogurt, we invented that. Froyo, for sure. Wait, I have to just finish this thought. Microdosing. So people know what happens. Do you microdose? Have you microdose? No, I've never tried it. But when you can control your inner emotions, yes, the peace of your mind being tranquil actually tranquilizes the rest of your body. So you actually get better sleep. Mm. You get better like inner body. You can just experience. do a lot of ketamine though. You can just do a couple bumps of K. Fucking more tranquils are. Were you, micro, were you microdosing when you bought this shirt? No, first of all, unlike you who, and him who just wear vintage clothes, like you guys shop at a thrift store, like so LA, I like to go crazy I on him. The thrift I store. go Versace you want, on him. You went crazy at Urban Outfitters? What are you talking about? Versace. 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 That's an outside sublimated button shirt? up. No, this is That's Versace. a $14 shirt. This is not shirt. Versace. Versace. Okay. Hey, quick first check. All, Look at the inside. Check. It's sublimation. Sublimation. Look at that. Do you want to run a quick fact check? What pattern is this from? What pattern is this from? 
What it's pattern? a peacock Let's pattern. See how cultured it's a, you guys are. It's a peacock pattern. You pull off a Shutterstock. Wait, I know how the game works. Shutterstock. No yeah, don't, don't tell me that's how you design. Mama, mama, no, that's, not, that's not how I design. I hope you are not we designing our Shutterstock draw. patterns because we, hand, we go Illustrator, all hand drawn type of artistic two values. Two different things. Two different things. Illustrator's not hand drawn. That's a vector based program. I'm sorry to. <laughs> you don't want to step into my world. You know the okay? problem with you? You, you still have the colored iMac on your table to be trendy. You want to talk about the Adobe Suite? I have an iPad that has a pen. It's called a stylus. We draw by hand. We're artistic. What do you draw? We're cultured. I come from an Italian descent of gladiators, Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo's. I painted the Sistine Chapel. My great ancestors, there's a tiny drop of blood in my body that painted the inside of the Vatican where the body and bones of Lord baby Jesus lies. Fair game. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. Not Italiano, a tutto bene. I can't fuck with what Italian you're saying. Let's get speak down. Like one word. That's yeah. Are you sense. kidding me? So wait, is that why you can eat carbs, all the carbs you want and not, not be a disgusting fat no, person? I eat carbs at a minimum level. Jason's bum he's on here right now <laughs> no he's what actually he one of the this. greatest boxing trainers of all time and mixed martial arts trainers and the one thing that you guys may not know because you're not too cultured in the fighting world he takes a fighter to a whole new level mentally physically and emotionally. We, know this. and emotionally and emotionally we know who this man this is. is his house we are in perillo's house perillo and pm you walk in we there's know three this. p's <laughs> there's there are two p's pm and a p perillo there's a p a m and a p when you walk in That's pmp right. The PM boys. for Tenori and the Perillo. Boys. The PP yeah. boys. Yeah. They do the not wet their bed. These are warriors. <laughs> oh, warriors wet their bed. They have leg tats. Look at Tenori's leg. It looks like a saber tooth tiger, dude, from Australia. Look at We're that. We're going to drag him in here. Okay. Yeah, at one point, we need him in here. <laughs> at one point. He's like, get somebody else in here. <laughs> okay. No, let him talk about the fighters he won belts with. Well, that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking I mean, about that. And he's like, that's bullshit. Don't talk about that. No, 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 no you're talking about yeah, I'm brisket. Like, you know, like, how, you know, how, you know, how do you become good at boxing? Yeah. He's yeah. fucking yeah. worse. How do you yeah. become, I said, what are the similarities hey, How do you make eggs in the morning? You crack it open. It doesn't take a scientist to figure this out. What do you want me to do? Make an expand. Now he's comfortable. Now he's comfortable. Lay it down. You have trained literally people that can fight better than anybody else in the world sure continuously right there's something about the things that you know what you can extract from these people you push these people to a limit of champion i want to know how you do it J jason hard work <laughs> <laughs> i got a better question no can you a take, better question can you take a couple lumps of shit like me and maddie and turn us into fighters of course no, if no, you, no, do you think? Do you think? Oh, you know, no, no, I'll tell you this. Could anybody be a champion? No, no, I don't. Think right. That. I think people are definitely born champions. I mean, they, I mean, they're born. It's in you. It's in you, but you, you definitely need some guidance because at the end of the day, you know, there's a lot of talented guys out there that you've never seen and never right. knew because they just were around the wrong people. Right. You got to have the right people around you. you know, Your environment. To have experience. Mm. Your environment. You know what I mean? Having guys with. Like I mean, that's what's benefited me over the course of time is my experience in doing it for so many fucking right. years. Now I get a hold of these guys. They can listen to what I have to say. Because mm. I'm actually saying something to them. You know right. what I mean? They listen to every Tom, Dick, and Harry. Every good fighter has every motherfucker approaching them. Every fucking coach, mm. every manager, every promoter, whoever. You know, if they have any talent, they're being be they're being you know attacked by all angles. Right. Not necessarily attacked. People are acting like they can help them, but most people they like to get something from them. Fighting is a business that anybody can get in there. Anybody can bullshit their way in there. Just what pulling up your page. Keep going. Do you ever <laughs> do you ever watch on the internet? Do you ever? I like to watch street fights. Do you watch those? Do you I do. I get I get I go, I go down the rabbit holes. Of course, I may go to the rabbit holes. A lot of stuff. There's something There's about some it, of these right? some of these kids though. You see fighting. Yeah. Some of the athleticism you see. Some of these that, kids. Well, there you with? go. That's a great right. example. You see this guy. Fuck it. This kid looks like he could actually do something. Yeah. Right. You look at the kid. The mobs it all kid. You know, he started right. off doing the street oh, fight shit. Gangster. Gangster. You know what I mean? And, okay. and uh, BMF belt. The rock. You know, he, he ended up getting, over the course of time, you know, he's won some, he's lost some, but I mm. think when he had the right people finally around him, you know, brought him to a, a higher level, the highest level he can get there. He didn't right. make it to the full title. He, he made it to the title he shot, but belt. he would so have never had that opportunity if he wasn't around the right people and the right people right. guiding him. And I, I just want to, like, um, fuck, this is going to sound ridiculous. Who was that dude, the Mexican guy, that knocked out the big dude? And fucking like one <laughs> punch. Caesar Chavez like, Jr. Something like that happening. And, and like a heavyweight bout. Wait, right? Andy Ruiz. Andy Ruiz? Yeah. So like, like are you Andy talking about the are you talking about Ruiz when he when he knocked out um like who who's the, the dude who's like kinda out of shape and like an underdog? Yeah, Ruiz. Ruiz. In Ruiz. boxing. In boxing. Okay, yeah, Ruiz. Like something like yeah. that happening is like one in a million, right? Like that guy getting caught like that? Or well, was know, that dude just got, came he, in well, and he got he showed shut a lot down. of heart now, didn't he? He got right. dropped, so he got up and he and he, and he fought his balls out. The guy the, 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 the kid's talented, you know what right. I mean? And I think that was a, a, a case of underestimating somebody. Right. I think that was the guy that thinking I'm gonna fucking he thought it was lick gonna be a walk guy in the park. Easy, do you, you know? think do you think Maddie could take one Stomach punch from you? 
and not drop? I think if he's well prepared for it, I think he could. <laughs> What do you mean? Of course I can. One yeah. punch from Tenoria Perillo, you're what on do you the mean, floor. Like a, what do you mean? Like a hook? A, yeah. a hooky? You're, you're on the hook. floor. One maybe punch. Just, maybe even like, maybe not solar plexus or kidney. Oh, no. Maybe just in the no. bread basket. Pat's saying no. One punch. Pat says I, don't do it. Not in the solar plexus. Like no, no. In the tummy? No, no, no. Just in the middle. I haven't eaten today. You didn't How get that. I, I brought a sandwich for you earlier. You didn't get you it. Brought a sandwich for me. That says yeah. don't do it. Don't do it. Please. Don't do it. You won't be able to fly home. I don't want. I actually, honestly, I couldn't punch you. Well, you couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I, I, I like you. I like you so much. I feel like an asshole. I wanted Bisping to do it once. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He'll kill you. He'll do it. He would do it. He was like, I would do it because I was like, I want to come on your pot. I want to get punched in the belly hard. And he's like, I'll do it. He'll rupture something, right? Yeah, you would, would I love die? to do it already. No, you'd be all right. What's in here? I think you got sandwiches. You got you got layers. So you got you know the top layer and the muscles underneath. I'd puke if you did it. Not a chance. I got hot just from doing that. Crack like a lava cake. Is it harder than that? Little bit. Little bit though. Bear give you a nice soft one. He can't. He can't. He can't hit for shit. Win, 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 win. He's, like he's like a kitten. He's like a kitten with gloves on. Coming from the blue belt. <laughs> but you're a white belt. I know. I know where I stand. I, I show are respect. Are you guys going to grapple? No, no, I don't are fight. You gonna I don't gi? ever fight with people that put on a gi. <laughs> you literally do jujitsu. We're going. Yeah, hey, yeah. Wait, yeah, you do the gi? Yeah, absolutely. But oh, I don't, ever, I don't ever compete against my peers. Oh. I, this is not a competition. I'm here for the art and the beauty of it. I'm here to sweat and precipitate. Listen, there's there's agility and there's agility. Uh, there's mouth agility. That this, man, agility. this man, this man is incredible. like it's incredible. He's the you've seen of words. He's, I've, I've just he's, wanted to crawl underneath the table. I almost the whole time. feel yeah. It, it, yeah. it, 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 watching Perillo train and, boxers and wanna, in I, here is pretty magical. It's, a, it's a, I love watching him work. The thing that that I love watching is like when I actually see it on like television. I'm like, oh my god, that's so crazy. Like, because he's such you know a that guy. he's emotionless in the corner. Have you ever seen when his fighters yeah, when no, he goes he, like he's this? Dialed. Already knew that was gonna happen, and he walks in there. He's got his gloves on. Looks like a PhD. Then look at you're him, talking about a PhD. Right that's he has the guy. Look. That's the you PhD. Yeah. Yeah. With ten minutes of sleep, he does it, which is crazy. Ten minutes of sleep. He runs like twenty miles. He doesn't smoke. You know, shout out to that. I think that's an incredible thing. What? Like you stopping smoking, like him quitting smoking yeah. is a massive How thing. How long did you smoke for? 33 years. How'd you Jeez. quit? Huh? How did you do How'd all you this smoking? It's I know. Just like, he's in the ring. He's in you're yeah. in the ring like every day. Yeah. You're in the ring training people like top athletes, best fighters in the world, and you're just hacking butts the whole time. It's incredible. Bucks, yeah. How many smokes were you smoking? Uh, like how many smokes Pack a day? Pack and a half to two a day. Pack and a half to <laughs> two. Holy John Wayne. Here's why. Because at night I drink. I drink every night. Yes. So <laughs> once I got home, I start drinking. <laughs> yeah. And they just start going down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? That's when they really go down. And what was the moment when you were like... The smokes are out. I'm out. Um, because I, you just stopped. Oh, I did. Well, I technically got diagnosed with COPD, which is lung disease, which that helps. Okay, that helps. <laughs> That's scary. That's a motivator. Yeah, yeah. But uh, so I said, fuck it, I quit. No, right. I quit, but I also quit drinking. I quit smoking weed. I quit everything there is to do because everything obviously... And now no. you're in the best shape of your life. No, I, I no. No. <laughs> I was. At, look at his Instagram. That, look, look at that right hook. That would Watch kill that. you, Maddie. Wait, let me see it. You would fold oh. it half like a <laughs> you would yeah, fold it half like a crepe. What do you mean? It's so fast though. Why can't why is punching slow not effective? Uh, that's like a really good you really hit. Like, can't you really you, come she, like why is it always fast? Why can't you punch like slow? Just like this? No, just like isn't there something to that? You can too? place it. The timing can beat speed. Right. We call that timing rather than slow. And do you think like I always think like a, instead of doing an uppercut, I always think of like more of a bonk. <laughs> like isn't that like a better thing to hit under the chin actually than that? Bonk. You can hit with all angles. What is that? What is there's every effect? angle there is. Like a bonk. A bonk. Like, like, you, like if you, it was always boxing, you and then turn you, that and you do, a little instead bit of more, an uppercut, though. I was always like, why don't you just a little bonk? A little bonk or is that weird or, because or what about coming this way? That's too, what right? I think. A hammer, hammer fist. A hammer fist. Oh, that's a nice one. What about what about eighties action movie double fist? Like a fist? double fist? Is that Boom. work or does that break your knuckles? Complete or shit. Uh, yeah. Is that bad? Can you hold your dog real quick? No, she's gonna want jump. It to fall no, the grab her by the cyst. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she's a wonderful beast. Oh, it's a, just hold oh, it real quick. I'm just trying to get a side angle from you. What are you getting? I just I'm trying to get a little side angle. What's your favorite punch? Is there a favorite? How many punches are there? Yeah, it's official. It's official. He looks like Mugatu. Yeah, it's Mugatu. I was. You are straight Mugatu. I don't look anything like Mugatu. You look like Mugatu. What are you talking about? I was trying to get a side angle. So so I'm trying to. There's 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 a hook. There's a jab. You got a jab. You got a cross. There's a cross. You got three. You got so you got well you got three two different you got overhand cross hook uppercut four and then there's a corkscrew. You got an overhand. Overhand. Maybe uh, when, uppercut, okay, half, I did, half uppercut, half hook. Okay, I was told this thing about punching. Pat, where are you going? 
Oh, the oh there's food? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, right here. Yeah. Show, let's show Bring them the shrimp. In. Show them the shrimp and the, the lumpia. Let's okay. eat. So, so I was always told. Pat's Filipino, which my most dad always told know, me yeah. he introduced that me to when, the you, best Filipino when you food. make a fist, yeah. you use the, your thumb and, and your, your index finger to kind of. You tuck that in, and then you hold that as tight as you can. So then, all of a sudden, you got the vortex here, and it's okay. more of like a strong structure. Yeah, you want to really focus on those two knuckles, or you get right? a bat, yeah, right. <laughs> like right that, there. like right yeah. there where you keep it tight, and you push this knuckle into this knuckle. Now this is like a force. It's because some people punch like maybe loose, or like you know when people go like but if they come at you like with a weird thumb thing, then you know that they're weird, right? Well, a lot of fighters kind of, I mean, or the loose hands. Boxer will be will loose until they make contact. So as as they're making contact, they're able to snap it. Yeah, thread the needle. Thread the needle. And then punching through the face is perfect. You want to be aiming for the back of the skull, not the face. <laughs> isn't that a trick? Or is, isn't that like you want the most impact actually behind what you're punching? I, everybody's got a little bit of a different mentality. I mean, like the back of the head, sometimes guys end up pushing the punch if they think they're like that right. way and it's not the same snap. But yeah, you want to break. Okay. Heavy hand's a heavy hand. Punching power is something you're born with. Right. Unfortunately, you can develop it to it, you know. You but either you got hands or you shape. don't. You either, got, you either got leverage, you either got punchy power or you don't. Right. You know, not everybody does. Some guys, some guys, but they'll punch you a fucking 100 times your one time yeah. and beat you on points. You right. know, and that's... The nature of the it's business. Hand, some people just got that hand-eye coordination. Like I, 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 I notice that in people. Some people can just like hit, and it's like way different than anyone else. Their can. accuracy is just yeah. different. Not even training. It's just it's just a different. Yeah. A to B. Are you a good boxer? It's no. like it's, a good boxer. No, I fucked around. For a, can you, you know, do a speed bag? I can get in there a little bit. My I'm hand. Good. I'm not ambidextrous. This left hand is like ridiculous. Like, what's up with that? <laughs> we we know what's up with that. What's up with that? My left hand. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'd say, I mean, it's coordinating everything, right? <laughs> <laughs> Practice no, makes perfect. Done, eh? just yeah. really, it's really, Maddie's really taking us to a grinding halt here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Jesus I Christ. I know. What? <laughs> I, I just, You're talking I to a world champion hey, boxing perfect. trainer no, Maddie, and, a, and like multi belt hanging on the wall, and you're, at, you're showing him your left wrist. Put some respect on the guy's name. Well, that's what I'm trying to say. So, 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 so the championships. He's a, he's he's. No. I'm, I gotta apologize for Matt. He's no, I, not, I don't mind. He's no. not here today. So so. Yeah. He's he's like there's there's like 14 percent of him left in his body. He's somewhere else. We're losing huh? him. Yeah. We're losing he's him. tired. He's, huh? he's, he's left. Fuck, I'm tired. He's fucked. Um, I would the energy of this room when I walked it was insane. insane. It was incredible. Yeah, it was incredible. Living. It's the it takes a lot to keep the energy high. I yeah. just want to know, you know, maybe last question for Jason. You know. Yeah. Um, what's the differences like? You know, UFC, when you start, like, I think, you know, like within the last 10 years, the level of fighting and the, like the knowledge has always been there. Like boxing has been there. The jujitsu has always been there. But the art of like mixed martial arts and doing that kind of training within the last 10 years, these fighters are just coming out. There's so many of them and they're all just weapons. Before, you know, UFC was like, you know, Tank Abbott's and fucking just crazy. Like a 300 pound person fighting a 100 karate, a 100 pound karate person, you know? Like now these are like extreme athletes. And it's just like to, to, to be able to pick those certain people those real champions and to allow them to work with you, you know, like what do you have to see? Like what's the checklist of, of these new, the new breed of at your two tone hates this hard work, hard work, <laughs> talent you want to and talk? hard work, hard work. Talent and hard work. Just being, he's not going to tell you his secrets. That's what makes okay, him. That's what makes no, him. No, I, I hear what you're saying, but you know what? Honestly, I, I don't know with me. It's always just better. It's always better. It's always Thanks, been kind Aloysius. of a connection. They want to come trade with me. Like, I mean, right. that's gotta happen. I'm, I don't look out and try to try to try to track yeah, people down. They right. gotta want to trade with me. They trade with me, and if we have a, an organic connection, you know, then we got something to work with. Right. They want to listen to me. I, I got a good direction for them to go. It's just they gotta right. be, have the ability to listen and not drop the ego. Yeah. So you got guys like you got, you got a lot of different guys that come in at different <laughs> egos. There's a lot of different egos, right? There's a lot of different egos, especially yeah. like this is a high octane personalities, mega alpha Think about it. psychos. Oh, yeah. They're fucking. They think they they they're psychos. They, these guys believe they got to they can beat anybody up in the world. And that's all they think about all day long. So it's a whole different fucking man you're dealing with. You're a dealing whole different with mentality. like people that just believe that they can beat up anybody. Well, they want it. That's their passion. That's, that's what they passion. train. That's what they live for <laughs> every day. They eat, sleep, shit it. Yeah, yeah. But they do. Off for a living. They yeah. do every. That's all they do. Who that's what is, they're built for. And then who is the toughest that you've ever worked with? 
Well, that's typical to say. Not fair for me to say. You know, right. honestly, I, I hardly ever answer somebody is the best puncher, the best fighter, right, the best right, right. that because, you know, but the toughest situations, I, the, the, the fighter that I've been in the toughest situations with would probably be Michael Bisbeck. Right. You know, I've, I, I've seen him the hard time. You know what? I mean, it, BJ Penn too as well, but I mean, I'm thinking to myself, you know, guys that, you know, Bisping has been longer. in vicious yeah. battles. Yeah, vicious battles. And won vicious and won. battles. Yeah. And won. You know, and that's what it is. So did BJ too, but yeah, Bisping yeah, but, just a mm. Kind of like the battles word. that we've had with carbohydrates. Exactly. Vicious. It's kind of the same. Have you See, now you're trying but to you win? You're, you're ragging on me, and you now lose. you just belittle the whole thing. You bring I it said, back, but that's a full circle. That's I'm, a bit. I'm, I'm, that's I'm a good injecting, bit. I'm injecting that's a, a little bit of comedy into the talk. That's all. That's my joke. Comedy. A little bit. No, I like it. It's funny. Do you do stand up comedy? No, no. Yes. No, no. I thought it was a good joke. I thought it was a good joke. Thank you. I appreciate you, Barry. I'm just a. I just, you know, I, I, we gotta get PM in here. Yeah, we gotta get Pat in here. There's food. Pat likes food. I'll tell you that about Pat. I need some food. I'm gonna do a little breakdown on Pat what before are we he comes in. Right. I love it. Eight hour. Okay, so we'll do. We'll do another hour. Yeah, yeah. Easy. Because then we, we'll do. I'd the love same. to get. I'd love to get Luke and 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 Danny in here at the same yeah, time because yeah, yeah. I love their relationship. Yes. Because Luke will just Danny. I love how Danny yeah, is with Luke. Big brother, little brother. Yes. So good. Um, he he, Danny Danny unfollowed Luke just to fuck with him. I love it. Luke was <laughs> upset. Yeah, Danny's That's a man. the problem with social media. We're starting wars. <laughs> We're starting <laughs> wars between friends over likes Island and wars. comments. I don't. I am so not I a big had believer. Somebody, I had somebody today be like, "Why did you unfollow me? I don't see our our messages and the thing." I was like, "I still." And I took like a video, like a screen record. I was like. I still follow you, and here's our updates. messages. A lot of Instagram updates. One of the updates they recently had was they wiped clean a lot of people's DMs. Wow. I mean, Insane. listen, dude, when yeah. you're, when you're I, dealing I, with- I just heard of that. Yeah, when you're dealing with a, with a, with a, a, a billion <laughs> monthly active users, you know, hey. things might happen on the app. Mm. Things happen, oh, you know wow. what I mean? I know, thank you. Thank you, Jason. Oh, no, just thank you. Just Omar. No, I like that. You were just playing with Omar's ears. That was cute. I like Omar. Yeah, Omar's like great. Omar. See, it's a, me it's a, no, it's a good Omar. measure of a I love Everyone Omar. Everyone on this side of the table has no respect for Omar. This is actually a real person who sees in this I animal. I love animals. You got disgusted when she walked on your leg. You were like no, this. No, 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 no. no. I thought Both she was you. peen on my leg. She would never pee on anyone's leg. I felt like, no, some liquids. I felt liquids. What do you want from me? There's no liquids. She's a fucking angel. Oh. Look at this guy. What's he up to? Yeah, no, what what do you, what we should we have him in? Yeah. Should we bring yeah, him yeah, in yeah, before? Yeah, yeah. Let's bring Quickly, him in before have a little Pat. Aloysius. Aloysius. Aloysius, you're on. You want to come bring that sketch? Okay, so we have us? a very special. We have an artist. I'm starting. There's an artist. Hey, no. hey, it's always a pleasure talking hey. to you guys. I got 30 minutes. No, 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 Jason. I got 30 minutes. Stay for another Aloysius. Okay, I guess another 30. Leave whenever you have to. Okay. You did more than enough, but I'd love to keep you longer. I mean, what do we? What do we need? We need social media talk. We need analytics. What do we need? Yeah, what do yeah, we need? Let's let what this do we need guy, right now? This guy, I, I saw this guy doing kung, We're talk I saw him now. doing kung fu versus someone outside. No, no, he no. He had a really here. bizarre stance. You got to face this way. Leave it there. What? Leave it there. <laughs> you don't want to face the camera? No. Okay. We're talking. We're talking. Okay. Look, see? Oh, my God. Okay. Pick up the microphone, That's though. how you know you're you dealing with a true artist. Can I tell you guys something real quick? Yes. Can I interject one piece of content Look, he drew us. He drew us. This is really good. He loves, like, the... I'm listening. I'm listening. No, no, no. It's okay. He loves, like, what's going on outside of the podcast. He's a big outside He's in the podcast. Oh, he is. The one thing that you can always tell by a true artist... Yes. ...is that they don't really care for the notoriety, they don't really care for the fame. They actually have a passion and that's why they are an artist. There's a difference between someone who's a businessman that sells art and then an artist who makes art. Mm. And I think that is a distinction that we have with everything in business today. Yes. People that are on social media that are just on it or people that actually content create. Mm. And so for you, before I leave, you were typecasting influencers mm -hmm. and i think what we should do is put just content a little creators. bit of respect content creators on content creators names because mm. they are the future of how people digest and consume video audio and photo which is the building blocks of brands people's people's personal brands and corporations and it's how society is going to interact with each other it's why d to c is taking over it's why retail is falling and it's why people are now building their own social platforms and taking control and not waiting for big corporations that give them the right to own their own life. This man's not lying. Inside, he's listen, you might see lunacy. He, he doesn't Maybe he's lie. A, he knows what's going on. I can't disagree with him on most facts. Oh. Now, what's going right? on? Holy right? shit. Oh. Whoa. Oh. oh my God, dude. What is oh this? God. Okay, Grimes. Harris, you can leave after lunch.
Holy boys. shit. Oh, we my no. Burps, okay, we are on the burps. podcast. Yeah, this and we just, had an, we just had an interlude by Team Perps, Team Ruka, yeah, yeah. for the dog. And now we got the food. We got oh, okay. the oh, no. No, 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 no. And this is just, now we are living. Now this is living. amazing. What is so, this? Maddie Matheson, the chef macaroni. of all chefs from Canada, is actually going to go in and dissect the local chef. No. This oh, is you're not this. dissecting the chef. Why would I dissect a chef? Okay, this then what, what are you eating here? Give me a little background. We got some shrimps. We got some kalbi. We got some fried chicken. We got, what, 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 what's the name of this one again? Spam sumi, I think. Masubi. Masubi. Oh, masubi. Masubi. This is, this is the Hawaiian. This is, quickly, Luke. You're, you're, where are you from? What island are you Hawaiian from? Hawaiian Power Bar. Hawaiian Power Bar. Where Hawaii. are you from? Kauai. You're from Kauai. North Shore Kauai. North Shore Kauai. Oh, this yeah. is every day. Every day. Every day. Locomoco. What's your favorite on the plate right now? Three, right two, now? one, go. Oh, the chicken. I'm a fried chicken guy. Are you a big fried chicken guy? I love fried chicken. I need to know one thing. I what makes a chicken. good fried chicken? A good fried chicken, brining the chicken, having... That's all we got. Okay. That's over. Thank you me. only get as long as the story oh. goes. I can't just give you all day. <laughs> Fuck it. Tough oh, my God. Cow, I'm baby. so hungry. One last thing There's before no I go. One last thing before I go. I know we were talking about... Man, what what I do and perps. what I Cheers, wh boy. where Cheers. I've been. Yeah, hey, give, give, give the people a little love. I okay, wish. come on, come on. Yeah, can Perps sponsor us or what? Tenori Perps. Pat, I'd like to thank our sponsor Perps, <laughs> celebrating <laughs> keeping the Power of Truth Angels alive. Okay, I gotta clarify this. We when my wife, when my wife gave birth to our first son, <laughs> my wife, my wife. We drank perps the whole, organic, the whole organic labor, birth, the whole labor. Or, organic birth. Trisha, literally, we had a six pack. The doula, next to the, bed. the doula or, filled a pool. Or, the yeah, doula the filled a pool with perps. with perps in a bathtub. Yeah, organic no, we didn't birth. dry. We did it on the bed. That's amazing. That takes some effort. No. Okay, yeah. well, I gotta clarify this because we were talking about businesses and Wait, what we do. I ate do, the legs. Right? Oh my god. Wait, I mean, you guys are really mm. going in. I'm hungry. I ate the fucking legs on the shrimp. I'm so hungry. I'm I didn't even peel it. I just ate it. Am I gonna die? All right. So. Jesus Christ! You can't eat the legs. Why people succeed on social media versus why people don't? Yeah. yeah. Tell me. Business. Based, based off what I've seen. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I eat the legs too. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are we supposed to eat the legs? Mm -mm. Yeah. How do you like Bob Dylan, 1965? You've seen that? Oh, okay. mm -hmm. Yeah. Hannah Baker. Mm -hmm. Don't look back. Aloysius with a good insert right there. Poker dots. Mm-hmm. All right. Why people succeed. You were asking about the stats. Why I post those stats. Who I post them for. Yeah. We got to clarify that. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm about to leave. Let's clarify. Bring it back full circle. I do not post it for anybody but myself because that's the only way I get my education. Because if I don't read, yeah. there's nothing else to do, right? Because we digest so much content all day, we forget. The yes. only reason why I like seeing those big we businesses scale right. is because I like to see what businesses are adapting because I'm in social media. I do creative for brands. And I like to see based off the older regime of businesses and corporations that ran the world, yeah. are they adapting as well? That's why I look at their scale. That's why I look at how much money they're making per quarter. You got company like like YouTube, for example, up 50% in ad revenue, six billion in the first quarter. There Some crazy number, right? Like how are they doing that? Because everybody's leaving traditional print and media mm -hmm. and they're putting all their marketing spent on YouTube. I read the stats for that. It gives me kind of a distinction of where the world's going. It shows me what's going on. And then I put it on the internet so for the people. Going? Or I put, on the, I put it on my story so people can kind of see where I go and why, what I enjoy. Because yeah. I post for me. I'm not an influencer. I don't make content for people. I don't try to get followers. Contrary to what may everybody believe. You know what Are I mean? you going to eat your Calbee? Mm -mm. Woo, boy. I don't, I don't eat um, past seven. Nope. You don't eat past seven. It's not seven. Yeah, I know, but I'm on a diet and we're on a podcast. You're on a diet? I don't want to get bloated. I get bloated quick. We can edit this, bro. Let me just say this. Yeah. Just I want to make a disclaimer. Yeah. We don't know where Bear's... I still don't know really what he does. We don't know where Bear's allegiances lie politically. Yeah. We don't know where he really comes from. Yeah. We don't know. Bear, we know he, he says he traces himself back to Michelangelo. That's fine. Yeah. But Bear, all we do know about Bear, we can't say we align with him on any political spectrum. No. What we can say, though, I will say this. I don't know what's going on behind those shades. I don't know what he really thinks. But I will say this. I respect the man. He dropped a lot of gems in this motherfucker. If you sift through it, you'll realize that the man... I wish you just touched my. Did you just touch my masubi with your hands? <laughs> I wish his mid speech. He gave you a crank out of the masubi. He comes over you can have mine. He touched my masubi. Listen, listen. I'll break this down for you real quick. Under the bus. Wishes. We appreciate you. If people want to know what I do, I'll break it down in two seconds. 
What I do is I come to brands on a very realistic level. I'm not saying I'm a guru. I'm not trying to do no masterminds. I'm not doing no classes. I'm not selling no tricks. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing nothing. All I'm telling you is based off the experience I've had in building brands, I can come to a brand and my forte and my specialty and what I dive deep on and where I stay in my own lane is I can dissect the brand pretty pretty significantly in figuring out where and what they do in their marketing and ad spend and how to grow that through social media, through ad spend, through content creation, through influencers, content creators that I like to call them for you, that way you understand, and then figure out how can that evolve? Because what most people don't realize is their brands aren't at a standstill. They haven't plateaued. They just have reached a climax of ideas and they don't know how to execute the next level of ideas. And most business leaders in today's time don't realize if you're not adapting every three to four weeks based off trends, based off social presence, based off the content creators you align yourself with, you will get left in the dust. Three to four weeks. Three to four week cycle right now on social. Three to four weeks. Three to four. That's it. That's it. How many TikTokers on average are you fucking in a month? I just got to know. I do not have none of that type of stuff. I'm born again virgin, first of all. And second of all, I am not here for anything except building and enjoying my life. I know I keep trying to drag you into the gutter. Yeah, 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 yeah. But is it the gutter? Isn't it natural? Isn't it a beautiful thing what you're doing? No, no. Your copulation station? I love to create content. I love to work with people. I love to create. I love to think. But I think most importantly, that's why I don't get caught up on brands and I don't just hang my hat on one idea. I like to go back to the drawing board and figure out how to start over and see if I could do it again. He's talking about dating life. No, dating me personally. I need to find a good girl that I could bring home that can make pasta. I know you come from a great family. Yeah, great family. So you must... Want How that. am I going to bring home a girl to my sisters and my mom, sit at dinner, and the only thing the girl's talking about is her trip in Tulum where she's shaking it low and dropping it slow yeah. for 13 dudes that flew her there. Now, I'm not saying every girl that goes to Tulum does that. Well, I know the game better than anyone. But that's just such a strange he's in, type his, of he's in his wild years. No, so. I'm just, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm young. How old I, are you? I'm only 30. You're 30? He hasn't fucked out yet. You're 30. Am I young or old? You're young. Okay, so That's I'm 30 crazy. years old, and I want to I want to explore I life. I might be younger. Yeah, yeah. Really? I want to explore life, and I want to enjoy you got myself. Into your Nutella. My, my Nutella. I always bring those with me. It's a quick little snack. Keeps me centered, focused. Everybody has vices in life, and it's not about. How, I'm a country bar guy. Yeah, oh, sure. I, I'm a big Nutella guy. He eats a Nutella, but he won't eat the. Yeah. No, no, no. Everybody has vices. And it's not about it's not about running away from your vices. It's about learning how to embrace them so that way you don't fall apart. I wish. And it's learning how to understand that some vices maybe aren't the best for you. That's a superpower. Some some vices can lead you into better realms of your life once you learn how to conquer them. Because most people, they're not really stuck on a vice, they're stuck on a feeling. So if you learn how to trans if you learn how to translate that feeling and move it over to something else, you can actually conquer anything you want. And that's the easiest way to snap in and out of things. Relationships, things you're addicted to, people that you're addicted to, bad relationships, bad environment, right? Yeah. It's a feeling. Yo, you guys are monstering my plates right now. <laughs> Holy team. Bro, There's nothing left on his plate except sweat. bones. Yeah, Holy yeah, Tyrannosaurus that? Rex, you just yeah, went through the whole plate. Bro, no, you touched it. I can't eat it. Oh, I, 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 I will say I'm a big yeah. fan of the podcast. You are? Yeah, I'm a big fan. Really? I like the one that you guys episode. did, the one you did in your house with the mantle behind you. <laughs> the first episode with, with uh, Alexis Ross. <laughs> he was, he's never been on it, but nice try. Good Who shot. was on it? You took a shot. I think you videoed, you videoed him in, right? Yeah. You did on the first episode. We never right? have. Yeah, you did. We've no. never put no. it. No. Okay. No. Well, I tried. We've never had a lot. Who I'm a big, Who, who's is this? That's a oh, short rib. That's short rib. Did you touch? Did you put your hand? Did you touch it? It's marinated in a nice little flavoring right there. Yep. Oh my God, dude. We're gonna need cleanup on aisle three. These guys are just. Oh, they're gonna have to hey, read. This was amazing. It's good to. I mean, I wish we could go more this deep is into certain the topics. Podcast you've ever been on. Yeah, hundred percent. I don't go on podcasts. I only did this for you guys. And Bear is. Uh, let me say this. Yeah. Bear is exactly how he is when he's chilling outside of this. Yeah, so, that's very this, true. This is only. Our wishes. We appreciate you. You're a real one. This man's a maniac. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. No, no, no. I, I enjoy myself. Way that you are. Yeah, I enjoy myself. I have yeah. nothing. To hide, I am no. perfectly comfortable in my own skin. <laughs> if you don't like me, that's on you. I'm not. I'm not wishing you harm. No. I'm saying, let me live. This is how I find happiness. Let me live. I Ow. like to run around and run a little racket. Yeah. So what? I'm at Nobu eating a little eel on Sunday. So you know, what? Let me do my thing. Only jealousy cares. You know, people aren't jealous Going. in life. They're not really jealous. You know what people are? Sad. Who's that? Oh yeah, oh! bring him in here. Yeah! Bring him in here. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Yeah! Hey, Danny Fuller. Look, hey, thank you so hey. much, Aloysius. 
I have insider information that Luke won Kelly Slater's show on Whoa! ABC. Is All that right. true or not? It's lies. It's lies. Luke, Luke, I'm just taking a wild we guess. We literally I'm just taking a wild are guess. about to have two of the best surfers in the entire world. One is a, a Howley. Do you want this chicken? And then one is from Hawaiian. A Howley? So what does that mean? A Howley. What does that mean? Fire, I mean, fire not, on this guy. It means like not from here, right? Oh, no. yeah, Danny Fuller's from Hawaii. I know. We have okay, one Howley and one Hawaiian. You Danny Fuller is a living legend that has Dude. conquered mammoths in the let's water. Just, let's just clear yeah, this. Let's clear this up. Let's give some respect. We're about to have the hot boys on. Yo, these yeah. guys together in a club can clean can up on anything. Okay. I would love to open up into their because I really I like digging into just, their sex life. If I could oh my be, god! Can you imagine? You know, Danny I want to be Danny Fuller. Needs a mic. Okay. Okay. The square <laughs> footage. Danny Fuller. Right, Panda, baby. Oh, we got action. <laughs> action on the real thing. Changing, the square footage. We got the beacon. Changing dealers. Oh, fuck changing dealers. Changing dealers. Here we go. Okay. Who's sitting here? Danny Fuller. Bear, okay, Lukey, baby. What a, what, a, what a guy. Thank Yo, you, you guys are amazing. You crushed it. Nothing but respect. Mahalo. Spread it. <laughs> <laughs>